I've gotten so many demands on how to apply for new qualification study. Okay, I've made videos why you might need new qualification study. It's not for everybody. But if you find yourself in a situation where you will need to apply for new qualification study, I made this video for you so you can see how the application goes and you can follow the video to apply for your new qualification study. All right, let's go into the video. Okay, so uh, in this video, I want to show us how you can apply for new qualification study. So new qualification study is actually when you want to do your classification and in the process, you are unable to see your university or when you saw your university, you are unable to see your program, the program you studied in the options under your university. So in that case, you will be advised to do your new qualification studies. Okay. Just like professional classification, sometimes you can also sometimes you can also have uh, some difficulties when you want to do your qualification study. Sometimes you can actually meet rejections. So I want to take us through the process of applying this, applying to your qualification study. To also understand how, understand how you can do that and also explain things that might make you or things that can cause rejection of your qualification study. All right. So, after you've logged into your Omaris portal, come to this service. Area. So once you click this service area, you will see a whole lot of things you can do via registration, um, issuing a good standard certificate, see the new qualification study. This is professional certification and recognition and all other things you can do here. So I will go for the new qualification study because that is what I want to do in this video. So when you click apply, it will give you a whole lot of uh, options. Okay, you can see the service requirements, the areas they are about to uh, take and do qualification studies on. Okay, we have medicine and surgery, we have pharmacy and pharmacy technician, we have dentistry and related specialties, and so on and so forth. Okay. So the service fee is 300 Saudi Real currently. So let's keep on. Let's go and apply. So okay, I can continue. Have you ever had any application for professional registration license or permit to practice in uh, 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 no? Have you ever had professional registration or license suspended? No? Have you ever? Okay, so most of the things here is actually in law, but if you've committed anything, and specify okay, I agreed settlements or No, have you ever resigned? No. Have you ever had professional privilege suspended? Is your name being placed on a list of okay? No. So we continue. We 
Okay, so this is where you start to so professional group. Let's say I would use fancy for this example. Okay, if it's medicine, nursing, and all this, I can you can pick so I will use fancy for an example. So you have pharmaceutical sciences, pharmaceutical program, pharmaceutical care, pharmacy, just pharmacy, specialty, pharmacy, country of study. Let me use my country, sorry. Nigeria, okay. University. University of just okay. Now, so bachelor's. Okay, certificate. Bachelor of Pharmacy. Okay, so you can use the same thing for nursing, any profession in health at all. You can use the same thing for as I'm just follow the example I'm giving here. Translation certificate that specified okay so uh, for the sake of this for the sake of this um, application I won't be using real certificates I will just be using documents I can easily find here so that you can go um, from the record. So let me just use this. Okay. okay. Academic transcripts. You can put your academic transcripts. Of course, you're supposed to have your academic transcripts. So, certificate of registration or license practice, question marketing, socialization, and contrary cooperation and data from. Territory response for the country. Okay, this is they say this is supposed to be the letter of good standing here. So you can use that. So okay. This is abstract. Okay, initial research or okay. If you have your thesis, you can Put it there. Then, or uh, certificate and completion of training. A letter from training supervisor. So, this can be uh, for internship purposes. I use this. So, if you have your internship proof, you can put it there. Official program guide or the program link on the website of the Ishina Authority. So, so this is um, this is your school. You can provide your school. Uh, what's it called? Prospectus. So, if you have an official one. And provide your school prospectus here. So this for school prospectus. So 
There's like quite a lot of things. <clears throat> All right, so let's continue. I think I've uploaded all of these things, everything, then click on the apply. You make your payment, and that is it. So, once you make your payment, your qualification will be reviewed and completed. Okay, so this is how it works, right? So, whenever you want to do your professional classification, you are able to see your school, you are able to see your um, your course study as your profession. Then you have to do your new qualification study. This is how it's been done. So when the result comes back, when they complete it, you can now proceed to other things. So I believe this will be able to help you or guide you on how to do your new qualification study. All right. <clears throat>